capo. Hello my Libra friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be a reading for general energy for the 14th to the 20th. I hope you're all doing well and uh, you know, that you're staying out of trouble I guess <laughs> or finding some, whatever works for you. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you guys. Hey, Let's see what's going on for you guys. For my Libra friends. We have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, generous, professional, responsible, practical. This a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. You have the Midas touch right now. Well, that's awesome. Look at you guys go. My Libra friends, you got it going on. The Midas touch, huh? Very nice. So we have a creative offer or communication about a creative endeavor something that kind of gets you a little on the excited side something's coming in in some way shape or form for you or there will be news of it and the beginning of new romance <coughs> perhaps there's news coming your way or someone hopping on their trusty steed to come and tell you this about this new creative endeavor and it kind of makes you emotional. You're not expecting it, whatever it is. It's a tower moment. Something, the tower has been built in some way, a belief system or something, and you're getting the opportunity to go in and restructure. Oh, my cards are backwards. And restructure your belief system about love, perhaps, or, well, it could be almost anything, really. Let's see what this tower moment is about, shall we? Well, first let's find out what this Knight of Cups is about here. Wow! The absolute inflow of abundance. Wow, no wonder whatever this person has to say on this trusty steed makes you emotional if that's the way you're viewing that communication. It's about working, learning, growing together, working in tandem with the divine to bring about something beautiful, increasing your knowledge level. Perhaps this is something you feel you may need to go back to school for, but will yield massive results. Unclear. You're unclear. Perhaps you're receiving important psychic insights at this point in time about how to move forward and create this mass abundance you seek. This tower moment could come from a younger Sagittarius person in your life. Uh, just hanging out with them or something possibly gives you an ingenious idea. It's like a lightning bolt strikes you yep that's exactly what happens it's an ingenious idea and a lightning bolt strikes you as to how to make a lot of financial abundance through a passion you have absolutely let me pick up all the thousands of cards that just flew all over the place in your honor for the divine to show you <laughs> how awesome this is going to be could be something to do with a virgo uh, whom you could be all up in your head about, or could be something to do with going inward and asking the divine which way to move forward. Which way should I move forward here? I'm looking at where you've been, seeing where you're going, and which is the best way to move forward. Taking that star from the star card, the star of healing and hope, putting it in your lantern as you're late forward. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. You have the Midas touch. Someone's going to be liking your touch. I'm totally getting that. Passionate messages coming very ferociously and quickly towards you. It's like they're like, charge! Let's go get them. A job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. Holding on tight to your money or the beliefs about money or how it is you bring money into the world for yourself it's going to take great strength i think some you're going to tell someone off you're going to oh what is this about 
Someone's going to tell someone off and it's going to take great strength in order either to receive this energy or to give it. There's a huge opportunity coming your way. I think something someone has said to you, a communication about a passionate endeavor, something you want to do has caused confusion for you. And I think you're just going to tell them to bugger off. It's going to take great strength to do it, which ends a cycle in your life and brings about a huge opportunity. Yeah, it's kind of like getting out while the getting's good. You're concerned about people doing stuff behind your back, though. You're concerned about being cheated. If I accept this opportunity, am I going to be cheated of what I'm holding on to? Because I got this thing I'm holding on to yet still. Brand new home. Brand new life. Brand new. I got three aces on the board here. My Libra friend, you're all coming in. Brand new starts this week. How beautiful is this? You're conflicted, absolutely conflicted about the new starts. Not sure if you should carry them 100% forward, but it can take you for the absolute long haul here. Sure can. Look at that. And a very happy outcome ensues. We have the happiest card in the deck. Could have something to do with a Leo and communication from a Leo that's going to help you with this. Bring this happiness and help you move forward. And to take what? To take that leap of faith. Absolutely. That's beautiful. I see my Libras taking a leap of faith, possibly towards a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. We have not seen the positive in this situation here at all. Even though the divine tells you to a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered. You have the Midas touch. This situation here, you feel, is absolutely the inflow of abundance, which it is. Look at this. We got this, the sun card, and a new start in love, a new job, a new home, and money to boot. And an apology coming from someone because they actually see now that what you were about to do was better than they give it credit for. Look at that, my Libra friends. They're all going to come back and say, oh, man, dudes, we're sorry about that. You have new starts here. Could be de uh, dealing with... Nieces, nephews, children, even young adult children, all that sorts of things. Let's get a postcard from Spirit, get their input on whatever's going on here. Postcard from Spirit's input on what's going on here. What do they have to say to my Libra friends? My Libra friends. Whoa, there's a lot of cards there. Let's keep going. That one? Okie dokie. That one. Dear you... Sometimes you just feel like no one understands you. You're not heard or even that you don't count. That's this energy coming in. This, my dear, is a terrible illusion. And although your, your feelings tell you that abandonment is real, well, we who love you know better. You are never alone. And even when rejection happens, you are ultimately being protected so something better things can replace what would have not worked in the first place. Everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for your ultimate success. Life loves you, we love you, and you are a unique spark of the divine and always connected to the light and to source. You are always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. Loving you always and forever. I hope this resonates for you guys. Blessings to you and I'll be talking to you again soon.